Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing another Witchwood Brewery. Uh, this one is King Goblin, an Imperial Ruby beer at 6.6%. What I'm thinking now is I should have compared it to the last review, which was just the Ruby beer. See if there's any difference. There probably is. 6.6 .6 is a difference from 5.8. Um, this one is another one that I bought from B&M for like £1.90. Something cheap. Uh, you can find these anywhere, any corner shop, any shop at all, you can find these ones. Um, stuff on the back says, King Goblin Ruby Beer. The King of Legends. Deep ruby in colour with aromas of treacle toffee and dried fruits. Brewed with a blend of finest crystal and chocolate malts. And the addition of uh, sovereign hops. Packed full of sweet caramel, coffee and earthy roasted malt. Uh, flavours for a warming seal of approval. I think I will be the judge of that. And there is the label. There's the cap. It's just a star. Actually, no, it's a star with what looks like... Um, the rings of a tree. You can't really distinct it, but yeah, there you go. Um, I do like this kind of though. It's just quite literally that, but with bit of gold on it and it looks nicer. Um, anyway, with all that said, let's crack it open, let's see what we've got. This is another one that I've just had everywhere because, actually, no, I've had it once. I hope that's not because of a bad reason. I think it's just because I've been drinking other stuff. Um, I'll pull the rest of that in a second. So. There we have another crystal clear ruby red beer. Um, head is compact, off-white, caramel coloured head. Um, looks nice. Let's get a smell, see what we get. What does it say? It says toffee and dried fruits. It might be a little bit of sweetness. Really trying, but I can't get anything. Slight malts, but there is, besides it being on my nose, nothing on the nose except the tiniest bit of sweetness and the tiniest bit of malt. Not even roasted, just a general malty smell. Um, it's getting a mouthful for body and carb. Okay. Carbonation's nice and light, but it still has a little bit of fizz to it, just to remind you that it's there. The body is more of a medium, thicker style than the Ruby beer. I'm just using that as a... It's It's got a nice medium feel to it. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. It's all right so far for body and carb. I'll just pour the last of that in, and then I'll um, give it a big old taste. Cheers. Mm. It's got, that's really nice actually. There is mo there's, there's roasted malts, um, sort of roasted coffee flavour to it, uh, chocolate, toffee, caramel, a little bit of fruitiness in there, but not in, not like juicy styled fruits you're looking at, the dried fruits actually, yeah, raisins and that kind of stuff, pardon me, it's, yeah it's got a berry fruitiness to it, it's not, pardon me, um, your typical fruits that you get in beers. It does have a taste, well, way of it, and it's quite a dry finish as well, it's quite, it's actually a lot better than the uh, Ruby beer, this is way better. I 
6.6. Yeah, that's that's quite nice. I I really I yeah really enjoy that. Yeah, that that is a that's a nice nice beer. You can see it being a, a on tap for pubs and that kind of stuff, but. I wouldn't be against buying that on tap. If actually, I'd really like to try it on tap. Um, but I think that's going to do it for the review because there's not really much else to say. Put that there because I want to drink that in a minute. So, King Goblin Imperial Ruby Beer, 6.6%. Um, I'm going to give that a solid 7. Easy 7. Um, might push it to an 8. I think 7, though. Um, yeah, it's it's really nice. I, I quite enjoy it. It's on the way to craft beer. So if you've got someone who isn't a craft beer drinker, this is definitely something to push them towards drinking more craft ale. Yeah, that's... If you, if you want to buy one of these, I'll, I'll leave the Witchwood website down below. But like I say, you can just go into any shop, pick one up. Less than £2, so there you go. Um, if you've already had this, let me know if you like it, if you don't, all that usual stuff. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that stuff as well. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later. Bye.